Hi and welcome. This series of episodes is going to be about the construction in January of the two covered beds. But first I want to give you a report on the potato towers. Both towers have sprouted out the top and have begun to sprout out the sides as advertised. So we can have we have five sprouts on this side, there's a few on the back side, so so far it appears to be working. Hey, back to the beds. These first two episodes you're going to see are about the construction of this eight by four bed, including how Bill created the barrel vaults for me and then are putting together this bed. So I'm Janet and this is Janet's Kitchen Garden. When they're ready to install, they'll look like this one. He's used a threaded rod to go across to maintain that bow. And the reason he's doing that is that most structures that have a domed roof or a barrel vaulted roof like we're doing, there's the exterior structure that maintains the integrity of the barrel vault. We don't have that, so he needed to figure out some other way of stabilizing that barrel vault and that's what this rod will do. The plan today is to assemble the structure. So we've pre-built some of the elements here, the front and back faces. These are both exactly the same. Side light, door opening, the header, and they both screw straight into the, uh, the bed, the tops of the bed here. Uh, and then this is all going to be covered with hardware cloth and the hardware cloth is going to act as the sheathing of it. Okay, so it's all the front and the back are all braced with these side pieces right here. That's brace the wall up there. And then to keep it square, Bill's put these cross pieces in. And now he's going to level the walls. screws to secure the hardware cloth to the structure and these are an inch and they have their own little built-in washer they work really well Bill puts them kind of in at an angle and then straightens it so it helps stretch it I can't do that I don't do it well so he gets to do the screwing
Well, that's the end of our first episode, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell if you want to be notified for future postings. Please also check out our links to different suppliers, uh, our Amazon link, and we'll see you next time. Janet from Janet's Kitchen Garden saying, see you later, bye.